Aerotronics is one of the leading manufacturers of unmanned UAVs for the civilian market. The company was founded in 2012. We have 35 employees spread across R&D and commercial operations. The main head office is in The Hague in the Netherlands with a further facility in Spain. We currently have over 200 systems flying around the world. Our longer term strategy is that we develop our systems in specific markets, vertical markets, which include security, inspection, agriculture, and to a certain extent in the creative media world. My name is Joost Heesemans. I'm head of design at Aerotronics. We used to make models to actually find the right shape and form of our, uh, of our new products. And we used to do this with um, like CNC models, we, we would carve wood shape by hand and find the right sh uh, shape and form. Maybe 3D print some parts uh, with an external company, maybe 3D print some parts in Asia. Combine this all together and, and make a, a prototype. To find the right printer for us, we actually invited a lot of companies with different printers and we looked at the end result. We cho chose the Stratasys uh, U-Print machine because this FTM technique almost gets up to 90% of the real strength of the material, which uh, allows us to actually print plastic parts and attach motors or different components to our frame and use this for functional prototype testing and, uh, before we go into full production. Uh, one of the things uh, why we also uh, chose the Stratasys for its ABS uh, material was uh, to produce and print the motor mounts. It's a very complex part with the motors heating up and we need uh, uh, the structural integrity of the material to be right, but also be able to test the different uh, aerodynamical parts. So we did 20 different types uh, for testing airflow and uh, engineering strength. As we have our, our system flying at the moment, we have, uh, we have a stable flying platform, uh, but clients come to us and ask us, well, we want a drone, we want this application in the air, we want to have this equipment and we want it flying and we want data from that. And then we are, we are capable now with 3D printing to actually work with them and to combine all their products and combine them into uh, and attach them actually to our drone. Before we actually go and make that as a full uh, end product, we can prototype, we can add all components, all sensors into uh, like enclosures and uh, attach them to our flying system and see if the data which we get out if that will be a good end product for a bigger market.